right now on Denver Police News. We're here to celebrate the great life of a great officer. A fallen Denver officer remembered. We now have another place to remember those times we had with Selena during her short but powerful time here with us. We'll take you to the dedication. And then more officers hit the streets. The Denver Police Academy graduates the next generation of officers. Welcome to this great police department, which is an extension of our world-class city. We'll put you in the front row. Also ahead, kids free to ask the cops anything they want. How many bad guys did you catch? Check out the Q&A from inside the classroom. And finally tonight, our small business story features a place that keeps you and your bicycles on the road. Less cars on the street, more bikes, it just makes more sense. Hello everybody and welcome to Denver Police News. I'm Sergeant Steve Warnicke. It was June 24th, 2012, a little over two years ago, when Officer Selena Hollis was gunned down while trying to break up a fight during a Jazz in the Park concert. Although her physical presence is no longer with us, a new memorial at City Park assures her courage, sacrifice, and memory will never die. I am here in appreciation for the life and the service of Selena Hollis, as well as of all of our officers who serve the great city of Denver. We're here to celebrate the great life of a great officer, and may we never forget the life and the service of Selena Hollis. Today, is not about those tragic events that took place on June 24, 2012. Today is about remembering Selena, our friend, what she meant to each and every one of us. Today we honor Selena by being here, united. I can't imagine how hard this is for the family, but I want you to know that there's not a day that goes by where I don't carry a piece of Selena in my heart. You know, as a chief, you don't, get to, you don't get to know all the officers that kind of make it a point not to know the chief of police. But I was blessed to get to know Selena. She was the president of the Black Officers Association, and we would meet on a monthly basis. She was one of those individuals that in the meeting, whenever there was an issue or a challenge, she always had a solution. And I will tell you, that is a, that's a rare quality to find today in, in a lot of individuals. We now have another place to remember those times we had with Selena during her short but powerful time here with us, but also a place for the community and people who may have not known Selena to reflect on what she did that day and that she gave the ultimate sacrifice for the community and she shall never be forgotten. All of those who visit this park, the very park where she lost her life two years ago, will be reminded that she gave all to protect the community and her fellow officers. She was temporarily a Denver police officer, but she's permanently with you in your glory, Father God, and we thank you for that. Selena, you will never be forgotten. A new group of officers finds out just what it means to put on the uniform and put their lives in front of others every day. The Denver Police Academy sends out into the community a large class of Denver's newest finest. It is my honor to introduce Denver Police Recruit Class 13-3. I just hope three things for you. One, every day you remind yourself of the trust that the public has placed in you. Secondly, I hope you never lose the enthusiasm that you have today for this job. And then finally, take care of one another, take care of yourselves, but always remain trustworthy and truthful in the service to mankind. Thank you for being willing to serve and protect the people of this great city. You are now the city's newest ambassadors who adorn a badge and a uniform that means so very much. We expect that you protect and that you serve, but we most expect that you do so with the highest regard and display of professionalism, respect, and integrity. As a police department goes, so goes its city. Welcome to this great police department, which is an extension of our world-class city. 
you will learn that if the community trusts you and if they know you, they will become your greatest resource. They will provide you with endless information that will help you prevent crime. So as you go forward, be diligent and thoughtful in the use of your authority. Learn to embrace change as a sign of growth and police with a purpose. Welcome to our family. May God bless you and your families. Congratulations to all the new officers. I can guarantee you, you'll never forget that day. Kids in Denver Public Schools may have also graduated, but not before getting their chance to ask a cop anything. I recently went down to Place Bridge Academy in Denver and fielded questions from Denver's toughest interrogators, third graders. Well, good morning. Good morning. My name is Sergeant Steve Warnicky. I'm a police officer with the Denver Police Department. I'd like to have you guys ask questions, and they can be questions about whatever you would like. Why do you need the badges? This is one of the ways that you can know that we're the police. The uniform is one thing. This is very recognizable. If you guys saw me walk down the street, you'd be easily able to spot me because of this uniform. I don't wear this all the time. On my, when I'm not at work, I'm in regular clothes. I'm also always a police officer, so even if I'm in regular clothes and I'm at the grocery store or I'm at the movies, I'm still a policeman, and so I carry this with me so that if something were to happen, I can show people so that they know that we're the police. What do you guys do to save people from natural disasters? Well, we can't really save people from natural disasters. There are some warning systems for some of them, like tornadoes. Have you ever heard the tornado sirens that go off? Yeah. Okay, well, that's some warning. But what we do is, after it's over, sometimes we go in and save people who have been hurt by natural disasters. Do you know what that spray's for? This is pepper spray. It hurts your eyes and skin if it gets sprayed on you. We don't like to use this stuff, but it's one of the tools that we're given if we have to use it. How many bad guys did you catch? Lots. <laughs> I've been doing this job for 15 years, so lots and lots and lots of bad people I have caught. <laughs> I see up on the board over here this week, some of you have been talking about what good citizens do. There's a word that the police department and police officers use all the time, it's called integrity. It was once taught to me that what integrity means is, what do you do when nobody's looking? And that's an important part of being a good citizen and being a good community member. Everybody in here has had a, a, a situation where somebody wasn't nice to them and it doesn't feel very good. That's happened to me, that's happened to you, and it's not fun. The important thing is to be nice to people always, because that's how you would want to be treated. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. I really want to thank all of those kids for their participation. It was a fun day. It's summertime in Denver, and that means outdoor fun. Many folks take to the streets and trails on bicycles to enjoy the outdoors. Mayor Hancock's support of small business allows us to bring to you today a place that keeps the pedals turning for many Denverites. Good afternoon, Coco Bikes. My name is Jake Trumbull. I'm the co-owner of Coco Bikes. I just got to throw the tire on it here in about 10 minutes, and it'll be 100% ready. Looking good there. We specialize in custom bicycles. We do custom painting, powder coating, restoration work, new and used sales, and also have a full service department. Before we started here, started cleaning the bike. We were a home-based operation. We had a garage shop, a showroom in our apartment, and wrenching out of our garage. We just had such a demand for what we were doing that we had to move into a retail space. With such a good economy and quality of living in Denver and Colorado in general, um, you know, there's so many people moving here, a lot of job opportunities. More and more people are trying to shy away from cars, save money, be more environmentally friendly, and just, you know, less cars on the street, more bikes. It just makes more sense. The Denver Police Department bicycle cops have stopped in. We worked on their bikes, kind of gotten to know some of those guys. So that was really nice. 
anything we can do to help out the community and kind of pay it forward a little bit for those guys that are out there protecting us and busting their butts and putting their neck on the line every day. It's been a challenge just to bring the company from an idea to a reality. We're definitely outgrowing this space really fast. I ideally see us staying in the same neighborhood, right close here, hopefully within a few blocks and you know, doubling or tripling our space, getting a warehouse, a space where people can come in and you know, buy a bike or design a bike with us and you know, ride away with a smile on their face. Okay, we'll see you soon. All right, thank you. Well, I get made fun of, but I have an electric bike. I wonder if he can work on that. I'm gonna have to check it out. That's all for Denver Police News. I'm Sergeant Steve Warnicky. Until next time, we'll see you over at denverpolicenews.com. Have a great day, everybody.